Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. In this video, I wanted to answer a question that's been asked a number of times in the comments section below, and that is, is it beneficial to put a power head on a sponge filter? So stay tuned. So one of the things that we'd like to do is answer more viewer questions. If you've got questions, leave that in the comments section below, and who knows, maybe that will show up in a future video. That's something that we're trying to do more of. We're also looking at Instagram and Facebook. If you've got questions, you can ask them there as well. It's getting a little harder to keep up with the comments, so I'm hoping this is a way in which we can address some of the common questions as we move through the year. All right, so let's talk a little bit about why you might want to put a power head on a sponge filter. There are a few really good reasons why. In some of the videos that we've done previously, we've talked about the fact that sponge filters do an awesome job of biological filtration, and that is completing the nitrification process where we have bacteria in this surface area that's converting ammonia to nitrite and nitrite to nitrate, the ammonia and nitrite being very toxic to fish. And so as we run air through this filter, it's sucking in water, creating flow, and going out the top. The other thing that a sponge filter does, but it doesn't do it really all that well, and that is mechanical filtration, pulling stuff out of the water column and trapping it in this sponge so that the water appears clear. So one of the questions we get asked is why not increase the water flow through the sponge filter, and if air is not going to do it, at least in terms of mechanical filtration, why not add a power head to the top of the intake and that's gonna suck a lot more water through the sponge filter. Now it is true, that is certainly an advantage. It's going to do that and some of you may do that and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna get a lot more flow through the sponge filter. Now personally, I don't think it's going to do a whole lot as it pertains to biological filtration. We've talked about how much filtration we actually need in a fish tank. I'll put it, that video in the description below but sponge filters, even with air, often do more than enough biological filtration, have more than enough capacity to deal with the ammonia and nitrite issues. Where it may be helpful is on the mechanical side, when you're pulling more water through the sponge, that creates more suction, and that's gonna trap more debris in the sponge itself. The other potential advantage to this is it's going to be a little bit quieter. Now sponge filters, I wouldn't say they're necessarily noisy, but when you've got a standard sponge filter, I'm talking about something that hasn't been modified in any way, when you're running air and the, and the bubbles are bubbling up to the top of the tank, that is going to create a little bit of noise, as will the, the pump itself, the air pump itself. If you're running a power head and that power head is completely submerged in the water, that's gonna create a quieter system for you. All right, so we talked about the advantages and there are some definite advantages to using a power head on a sponge filter. But the question remains, with 65 fish tanks in our fish room, almost all of them having at least one sponge filter, why don't we use power heads? There's not a single power head in our entire fish room. And the reason for that, and my standard answer when we get asked this question, if you're going to put a power head on a sponge filter, why not just use a hang on back filter instead? That way, we can pull the sponge filter out so we have more room for aquascaping and fish. The hang on back filter is going to give you the flow that you want. And again, we get to take out that sponge filter. As much as I love them, I don't really like the way they look. We tolerate them because we have so many tanks, but I would just as soon pull that out and have something a little bit nicer to look at. Now, one other thing to think about, if you're going to use a power head on a sponge filter, make sure that you have a very good idea of the water current that you're creating. Because if your uplift tube on that sponge filter is not going all the way to the top of the tank, you could potentially create a situation where you have a very strong horizontal flow about halfway through your tank, which is gonna be very interesting for your fish where there's not a lot of water flow at the surface, not a lot at the bottom, but mid water, there's some interesting water flow things going on there, water current. And so it's just something you wanna keep in mind how to angle that water flow to make sure that you're not stressing out your fish. All right, everyone, I hope you found that useful. And if you did, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.